know, same thing as back in the uh, back in the Renaissance, the Roman Catholic Church, they're all packaged, man. Yep. You know? And because they use that left hand witchcraft, which is rooted in wickedness, the wicked abominable acts to get their power. Yeah. Okay. The Heavenly Father uh, never wanted us to, to 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 do certain things in the earth. He made them. He basically uh, made them outlawed, if you will. Abominable. Abominable, detestable. But this man went because he wasn't getting punished for doing those wicked things. So it was like a power that came to him. Okay? It was like that. Like, like when niggas get shot and don't die, it's like that same kind of pride. Well, not even God can stop. They, they begin to say it. Forgetting the fact that he made you too, fool. It, it, and it's, it's got so bad, niggas don't even got to get shot no more. Niggas go to jail, yep. do a bid. That's almost like it, like it, like it, yeah, like God status. Like yeah, nigga, I've been to jail, and nigga come out being, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you, you come out being a more a, a, a worse nigga than you did what, did when you went in. Yep. Somebody got that real quick. Second you know? Thessalonians chapter two and verse three it says, "Let no man deceive you by any means, for that day." Should not come. Now, as the people are waking up, but as the people are waking up, and in, in, in movies like uh, the uh, uh, Book of Clarence, the Book of Clarence, I'm trying to think what other movies. Yeah. Uh, the Evan Almighty and Bruce Almighty movies. Why they got the most high is Morgan Freeman. Like y'all, you can't skip over this completely. Yeah. Okay. So there is some realness to 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 it. All right. Truth. Yeah, you can't, you could have put anybody, you could have put Michael Caine or somebody as God and Elvin Almighty and it would have worked. But it was better that it was uh, Morgan Freeman. Nobody was an uproar about that. All right? What was the uproar about the guy in the Passions? Right. They, they didn't say shit about that? Color only becomes a problem when it's not them. Yep. Or, or when it's us. One of those yeah. two is a big problem. Yeah, because they, they used, they're used to be the, being the ones to control the um, the narrative, man. Yep. You know, control freaks. That's what they are. Yep. Okay, they they're used to not being challenged. Yep. Yeah. You know, these priests, these pastors, these all these colleges, everything. This whole this whole system, man, is it's used to not being challenged, especially yeah. by us. Right, right, but our people were, you know, we were scared to speak up. We, like, like you were saying in the beginning, we're considered to not be intelligent enough. Mm -hmm. Unlearned. Unlearned, uneducated, you know? So when we come with, with these scriptures and with these uh, other uh, books that show proof that you're a liar, hmm. shit, what is that, 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 hey, that makes you mad. Yeah, because, you know, that makes be, you angry. because they're not gonna discredit um, was that Cambridge that brought the uh, that that you know has the uh, whole uh, 1611 and apocrypha? They're not going to discredit the people that uh, published this and edited this book. They painted those it, paintings. Yeah, it's, and it's not that they're being called a liar that's making them mad. It's the fact that they got. That it's the fact that we have proof that's yes. killing them lying. Yeah, truth yeah. hurts, man. You know, <laughs> truth, truth hurts. You you're the one that needed laws to protect their lives. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, law against the uh, right. the hollow hoax. You know, the uh, anti defamation league and them cats. You you have all these laws to protect you, man. To shield you, but you can't protect yourself against the scriptures. Second Ezra sixteen and twenty eight. It says, "As for faith, it shall flourish." Corruption shall be overcome, and the truth, which have been so long without fruit, shall be declared. Uh, if faith is flourishing amongst the elect, okay, corruption is being overcome, okay, and the truth, the truth which was hidden for so long, it's now being declared. And how beautiful is the times when you can hear about something, Google it, Find the book on it and order the book and it come to your house. <laughs> yeah. You know, with with, uh, with truth in it. You know, if you can take the the, the the truth that that they only knew about that, like our apostles, man, that's why they deserve double honors. They actually have to go to certain find out what library had a copy of this book mm -hmm. and then go 
see if they can try to check it out. If they couldn't, they have to try to jot down what they can, yeah. take what they can from read through it real quick. They didn't have cell phones to snap set pictures and stuff. Like that. Hell no. You know, like like easy access like we have. It. Okay, so they actually did that heavy lifting leg work back then. Okay, hey. to find this thing. Hey, the, the Lord is flooding the earth with truth, man. Flooded. Yeah. YouTube, all this, all the, uh, the, the social media platforms yeah. being flooded with truth. You're starting to see this Bible and the Hebrew, mm -hmm. uh, all these A's and yep. <laughs> a, a, a words with all A, a vowels in it, you know, and, mm -hmm. it up. And, and part of that truth is exposing you, yep. <laughs> exposing who you really are. I got to free. Um, first, first answer is four and thirty-eight. As for the truth. It endureth and it and yep. is always strong. It liveth and conquereth forevermore. Yep. And that's the thing. Once you bring the truth out, you can't refute the truth. You can try to, but it's, it's it gets you nowhere. Okay, once because everybody can say their version of something, but when the truth comes out, everybody's like, ah, oh, shit, yeah, that's the truth. When the truth actually comes out, you can tell, oh, okay, yeah. Now think about how many people that have come up here and we talked to. And when we drop something that's true on them, they'll be like, yeah, well, that, that, yeah, you, you got me on that one. That part <laughs> is true. They have to admit the truth. Okay? They'll question a lie or be like, I'm not sure about a lie. But when the truth comes up, they're like, ah, damn, I think, yeah, that does make sense. I need to do more studying on it. And usually they, they come back and ignore that they went back and found that it was true. Or they'll come back and be like, yeah, that part was true. Mm -hmm. Right? So truth is a... Is the, is the worst thing to some to a life. Right. right. This man is being found a bold faced life. He's still trying to hold a lie even though he knows the truth is out there. <laughs> and nobody believes in a lie. Yeah, it's like like in like this movie in question, man. Y'all 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 taking that serious? Jay Z don't even believe in the Bible. Thank you. Right, he talked he blasphemed me yeah. the Bible to the most high. Yeah. He said life don't begin until the church ends. Yeah. He said that in, in that song, man. Uh, New York. Yeah, he's a, yeah, he's a, he's a Freemason. He's a, he's a Luciferian. He's he a, had a hand in this project that y'all gave a friend to that. You know? He's cashing out. Yeah, yeah he, he made his Come on. Man, <laughs> trying to cash out on the Hebrew Israelite. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. 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 Like, you can just see a dark skin, or he ain't dark skin, but he's still a colored skin man, you know, and just think that he's for what you're for. No, you don't even know what you should be for, and he definitely, even if he does know, ain't pushing what's, what got him his success. Man, when you think about it, bro, it's bullshit because they're they're trying to act like it's, I haven't seen the movie, nor the brothers have seen the, the trailer. trailer, but they're trying to act like it's a backstory right. behind the scriptures. Right, right, right. Yeah. Like. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. no, the scriptures is the, the 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 truth. It's the real story. This is the real script. Right. It ain't no backstory where you had some nigga back there plotting or doing what you know. But it, that what that does yeah. is that that puts that doubt out there that oh the Bible was wrong about this and this like it it brings you much start seeing the yeah confusion. Of what they're putting out there. Okay. <laughs> now now it's gonna further push Jake away from the Bible. Because right. Jake probably like it if they're into it. They'll still have more doubt about what's going on in there, you know, in the Bible. Until they come and, and, and actually hear the truth from the Hebrew Israelites. I mean, you think about it, a project like that is only going to sift out those who right. are right. not, you know, meant to, to, to get it. Mm -hmm. But for us that are in the know, that got the spirit, you know, we have the spirit to, to have discernment. We was able to even pick out just from watching the trailer alone. Yeah. You can just watch the trailer and see how it's really a, 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 a mockery yep. of false prophets. Yep, yep. That's why we refer to you false niggas portraying for, for to be prophets of the Lord. We call you clericists. Because the main character, he just wanted to buy the, he was trying to basically uh, 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 emulate, he envied the power of the Holy Spirit. Because he saw Yahweh Shai casting miracles, and he was getting a lot of praise and, and, and fame. You know, behind the, the doings of, uh, of, of, of the, the Holy Spirit, so he was like, "Shit, I want that." But he was a fail. He was he was he was a clown, you know. And he and he was making a profit off of dumb niggas being gullible, 
believing in a, a false messiah, which Yahweh Shai said that in the last days will arise false prophets and false anointed. You know? And that's and, and, and hey, that's that's true. So even if they was doing that movie as just a mock and, and, and as a parody, there's still some truth in it. Mm -hmm. I didn't get offended at it. You know? <laughs> It is what it is, man. It's still, it's still, to tell a lie, you gotta know the truth. So there has to be, to see the lie in it, you have to at least know where the truth's lie, the truth right. lie where the truth's are at in it, right? And so we can see, it, well, okay, this is about false prophets and pushing people away from the Lord. Yeah. As, they, as it happened in that time, it will happen in this time. Right. Clarence is kind of like a, a, like a spin-off character of uh, 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 Simon, the one who was, oh, the he, yeah. was a, he was a sorcerer. I'm looking for it right now. Bar, Bar Jesus? No, not, not him. That's another one. That's, he, another that's one. Elamis. Yeah. But then you have the other two. The one that wanted to buy the power? Buy, buy the... Yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, can you sell this to me? Or no, how, how can I purchase this? Yeah. yeah. Purchase. You know, same, same, same thing. Man. That's how I took it as. Yeah. yeah. It's another... Something that went on. Yeah. You know? But they, but they, but they won't, but they can't, because that's just what they know. They try to say things like, the truth is, 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 a, a, is said in jest, right. you know, like you tell the truth in a comedy. Just like uh, they call Tyrone, y'all was so busy laughing and entertained by Jamie Foxx and uh, I forgot the lady's name, the actress in the movie, but by them two characters that you missed all the truth happening in the movie. <laughs> that the fucking chemicals in the chicken has got you the, the, laughing. You know, missing them and, 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 and drinking the Kool-Aid and the juice of the church. And they had all them angles in there. You yeah. missed the point. The whole niggerisms that was going on in the movie. You missed that part. Making you hella ass folks in this shit, right? Truth smacking you down in your face. Yeah. Uh, uh, real quick, uh, Proverbs 12, 12 and 19 in the NLT. It says, truthful words stand the test of time. Yeah. But lies are soon exposed. Mm -hmm. yeah. I mean, hey. It's apparent that you, you devils have been lying for so long. That's why you you reacted to when your lies finally get exposed. You know? And in the grand scheme of things, he's been able to deceive for it seems like quite a long time, you know, but in the grand scheme of things it's, it's, it's just about a little a little time, right? You know? Yeah. It's time it's time to rule for the deception and oppression is very short. Nevertheless, it does, it did great damage. Oh yeah. You know, yeah. Irreparable damage on some of the people. Yeah. So little time he did so much damage. Yeah. That it, it's gonna take a, a, a global events, yeah. you know. Noah's it's gonna style turn event. Noah's Noah style events. Yeah. And it's gonna take the Lord to turn to fix it to repair it. Uh, if I could say to, uh, it will take, it's gonna take the second covenant to really repair it, to get it in the people, into the full nation of the people. Okay, that's how that's how much damage it does. If you don't perform a miracle and write it in us, we never really you know how long it will take for it to come back into our people. And this this dude is so so wicked and, and such a liar that at the end of it all, he has to be done away with. Yeah. He he can't. He cannot, he will not be released back after this, this uh, sentence. He's not gonna be released out into the world, man. Because he, he would continue to try to do the same thing. He, right he, back to another lie. He has to be done away with. He kill somebody and lie yeah. off the top. We already know he do. The moment this nigga get off the chain, he gonna kill somebody and then lie about it. And then he has the nerve to act like he's just this most harmless, innocent victim. But you're the biggest villain there is. Like, what, what the hell are you getting mad for? Hell, hey, even back in like the 60s, in the 50s, in the music industry, when you had like the Temptations and these different uh, 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 band groups, music, musical groups, they would make songs and they would be hits. But guess what? When it came down to, uh, uh, when, when it came down to put the album cover together, guess what they was doing? They would have some white boys pose for the, the album cover. They showed you that in so uh, people in the temptation. Tem and um, 